And now I'd like to invite to the stage Wenda Harris Millard. Let me read the proclamation honoring Wenda. You are an inventor of the interactive advertising industry. At the dawn of the digital era, at DoubleClick, then at Yahoo, then at Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia, you taught a generation of salespeople how to communicate the specialness and the value of our new medium to a phalanx of skeptical marketers and agencies. Your pioneering work helped bridge the gap between the engineering culture of Silicon Valley and the media culture of Madison Avenue, creating a path now trod by marketers the world over. But your work was never limited to working hours. As chair of the IAB, as a leader of philanthropic organizations, as a ubiquitous presence in the corridors of influence, you have championed our industry and our industry's role in society. You exemplify the importance of being a part of, not apart from. For the training, encouragement, and development of this industry, and so many of its people, the IAB is proud to present you, Wenda Harris Millard, our Founders Award. Are we doing this thing again? Sure. <laughs> Take it away. Thank you, thank you. Well, thank you, Randy. Thank you for, uh, for this and, and very, very much for your, your leadership. Um, and congratulations um, to my dear colleague, Jim Spanfiller. I am very, very proud to have been associated with the IAB for many years, and I accept this acknowledgement of that involvement with much gratitude. It is remarkable to me that the interactive world has been open for business, that is for commercial messaging, for over 15 years. Sometimes it feels like 15 minutes, and sometimes it feels like 50 years. As an industry, we have accomplished so much since birth, but now as a teenager, we have a long, long way to go to earn our real and rightful place in the adult world of media and marketing. How many times have we been asked by marketers in their agencies, by analysts and the press, what is it going to take to clear those hurdles that prevent you from garnering a percent of ad dollars more in line with internet consumption patterns? And we've answered appropriately with everything from better measurement to education about our virtues to patience. There are many answers to the question, but one supersedes them all, and that is what we have been talking about this evening, leadership. Continued, forceful, fearless leadership, yours, mine, and ours, will help accelerate our beloved business. There is a saying that was engraved over the entrance to my son's school that says, to whom much is given, much is expected. And I think that's very easy to apply to all of the people in this room because we all have been blessed in so many ways, not the least of which is to have the opportunity to shape and propel forward an entire industry. This is why we chose the profession we did, and this is why we are here at this conference. It is, in fact, our responsibility to take leadership roles in protecting and advancing the health of our business community. We are only slightly beyond fledgling, and there are areas of fragility, as Andy addressed and as Dave did, that require serious and steadfast attention and action. I have always believed that getting involved in the future of your world leading the discussion and activities that will make it bigger and brighter is the responsible thing to do. Because who better to assure the future you want than you? Leadership is where civic interest and personal interest coincide. And by leading, you will have a very, very fulfilling professional life. In 1915, Cadillac created an ad whose headline read, The Penalty of Leadership. Advertising Age and others have consistently ranked that campaign among the top 50 of all time. 
And that ad, now a remarkable 95 years old, has words of wisdom for all of us who care to lead, who dare to lead. The copy reads, in every field of human endeavor, he that is first must perpetually live in the white light of publicity. Whether the leadership be vested in a man, reminder ladies, this is 1915, so we will forgive, vested in a man or in a manufactured product, emulation and envy are ever at work in art, in literature, in music, in industry, the reward and the punishment are always the same. The reward is widespread recognition. The punishment, fierce denial and detraction. When a man's work becomes a standard for the whole world, it also becomes a target for the shafts of the envious few. If his work be mediocre, he will be left severely alone. If he achieves a masterpiece, it will set a million tongues a-wagging. We want to set a million tongues a-wagging as we defy and, in fact, redefine convention. In thinking through what is at risk if you choose to take a leadership role in our industry, I believe there is nothing at risk. There is no penalty for rising above your day-to-day -day management issues, even rising above the day-to-day -day management issues of the industry, and stepping forward and stepping out and helping us to lead where others may follow or only manage at best. The joy of making a difference through leadership, the joy of making a difference for all of us in this business because you are an impact player there is no penalty here. Our industry needs your leadership, it deserves your leadership, and we're counting on it. Again, it has been my pleasure, but even more my privilege, to have been so deeply involved in moving forward the initiatives that will solidify our industry's role in the marketing ecosystem. I thank you, and I wish for you the very same privilege in leadership. Thanks.